Hello, and welcome to another Podoko tutorial. Here you're going to learn about how to use images in Podoko. What I've done is I've just gone ahead and opened up a new web prototype, and we're just going to click on this page to edit it. All right. So I'm just going to drag an image stencil here and put it up here in the corner, and double click on it to access the Upload and Choose an Image menu. In Podoko, you can upload images from a local drive or from an external source. I'm going to teach you how to do both of these in this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click Browse here, and we're going to upload the Podoko logo as well as this header here. Okay, let's add an image from an external source now. Simply click in this field, grab the URL, and copy and paste it into this field. Copy and paste, and now we can click on Add, and there's our image. Okay, to edit the title of any image in this menu, you can just click on this pencil icon here. To delete it, you can click on the trash can icon right below it. If you decide that you would rather have no image, you can of course always click this no image down here. I'm going to go ahead and select our header. And there you see it. So to resize this image, you just grab the resize handles and make it as big or as small as you would like it to be. But as you've probably already noticed, this is a little bit disproportional. So to resize it proportionally, we just simply hold the shift button and that will resize it proportionally. This is by five pixels. All right, let's say you have a stakeholder and he says, well, you know, I like your navigation, but I think we should just have that logo there. That's actually no problem in Podoko because Podoko allows you to crop your images inside the editor itself. So to do that, you just simply hold the control button. So just grab the resize handles and hold control. And this will crop the image. Now this is cropping it by five pixels. If you hold the alt button with the control button at the same time, this will crop it by single pixels. As you can see here, it's a lot more fine tuned. All right, so let's just crop the rest of this image. So we just have the logo here. All right, now specifications can change during a project. So let's say you're, that same stakeholder comes back to you and says, well, you know, actually I like the tabs being there. That's also no problem. We can just simply hold control again and bring it back. None of your data is lost when cropping your images. Now, another thing that we can do with images is that we can actually invert them and mirror them. Let me show you how to do that. Drag in an image stencil. Let's select the promo image. Let's make that a little bit smaller. And now to invert it, we just simply grab the resize handle and bring it down. And to mirror it, of course, grab the side and bring it over. So let's take a look and see what this looks like in simulation. So I'm just going to go up here and simulate in plane is already selected. And there you go. Here's our prototype. So we hope you can use what you've learned here in your own prototypes. And if you need more information about other things that you can do with Podoko, go ahead and take a look at our website at podoko.com. Until next time, happy prototyping.